Leave? You can't find it, can you? It's somewhere in the, uh... Russia region? Europe. Near, uh... Germany. You're our driver, Robbie. That reminds me. What side of the road do transients drive on? Uh, just have the hell ride full of diesel and ready. The hell ride doesn't take diesel. It's fueled by the screaming soul energy of the unavenged, the wronged, and the betrayed. And trust me, the hell ride's topped off. Okay, that was pretty badass, Robbie. Is there anything you can tell us about Transia that might give us an edge? Transia is a country in trauma. Their borders... Show no mercy. Fair enough. Still holding their interest. on your
They're ready. That will not be broken. This one's for you. You're a good friend. Once again. Someone order a
Looks like you move ahead. I'll remember this. Watch closely. say it gets the job done
Should have brought a med kit. Excellent work. There's my hunter. Shop class is supposed to meet tonight. So just the two of us? Actually, when I asked Parker, he mentioned you stopped by. Said he could convince Robbie if I could get you to show. I'm sure everyone has something to say. Maybe. I already said too much. I have to fix this. We should not keep them waiting. Time to face the music. So, what did you want? A do-over? And to, uh, to apologize for the last time. It's a nice sentiment. But a do-over doesn't have much appeal for either of us. Yeah. I don't understand why we should keep giving you chances. You shouldn't. Not if you don't want to. But hear me out, okay? I've been the person in charge for years. When I'm stressed, I can steamroll people who never expected it, and certainly don't deserve it. That's what assholes say. To justify their behavior so they can keep being assholes. Half of the Avengers agree with you. Look, nothing I did was justified. I was a jerk. And I'm sorry. Okay? Look, when you take away all the trappings of ungodly wealth, I'm just a guy who likes to make things. None of my friends were into this stuff. I was pouring over the guts of a microprocessor. That's all I want here. To make things with friends. As long as that's still an option. That's the whole idea behind this? Okay. Here's how we make this work. Tony Stark, CEO, is banned from shop class. But making things, Tony? The guy we're talking to right now? He can stay. That's more than fair. Took Tony long enough to figure out shop class, huh? I thought his suit had the thicker skull. You seem happier than I expected. Of course I'm happy. Everything's back to normal. That's all we wanted. I'll let you get to it. Parker can't wait to dive in. Glad that's over with. Feuding with Tony Stark is not an achievement I care to unlock. So, how about we make something new? So, the Hulk. You designed a prototype that will defeat him? No. Then what about the Hulk? We don't know if any of this is going to work. 
But in theory, and I have to stress the theory, we think we can keep you alive for six seconds more than Central's models project. Maybe seven. We should just build it. That's what I like to hear. I finally have a use for the components you handed me. So, are we good to go on this project? I am ready. brag, but I think this is our best work. Yeah, I know, blah blah, teamwork, blah blah blah, but still, it's impressive what we can do when we all work together. I think that was our best work. Everyone did their part. I'm ready to call it a night. How about you? Give me a minute. You got it. Parker's creative drive is amazing. Seeing how he tackles a problem gives me ideas of my own. And Robbie has the right intuition when it comes to putting these prototypes together. I thought he was being overcautious, but that's a crafter's care. Wish I'd seen it earlier. Catch you later, Hunter. Think I'll stick around for a bit. You know, I might stay for a bit more. I want to finish an adjustment to the Hell Ride. Let me know when you're ready to take off. I am ready to go. Hey, uh, Robbie. You got a sec? Sure. About Salazar Steel. I couldn't remember any details about the Stark Technology Center, so... I did some digging. Ten years ago, Oscorp and Stark Industries were in a good old-fashioned business war. Salazar Steel was a promising acquisition. When we realized Oscorp was angling in, we bought the plant from Mr. Salazar. What we didn't realize was how much of his finances were a mess. He poured his profits back into the plant. It was the only thing keeping the lights on. With the Oscorp thing, well, our stock couldn't afford to take the hit. We had to shut the plant down. Then... What was the technology center? A complete fiction. The only problem I saw from the boardroom was a dip in our stock from closing the plant. So I did the classic billionaire's trick of pitching a ridiculous idea that would take years to get off the ground. Stock rose. People celebrated my genius vision. And that was the last I thought of Salazar Steel. But I should have followed up. Ensured the people who lost their jobs found new ones. Robbie... I'm not the man I was ten years ago. I'm glad you met me, and not him. This doesn't make you look good. Yeah, I, uh, I get that a lot. I meant, you aren't trying to spin this. That's... I respect that you shared this, warts and all. Oh yeah, of, of course. You deserve to know what happened. So, um, I'm going to tinker with the Hellride? Wanna... give me a hand? Sure. Tell me where you need me. My shirt. Too bad you had to die for it.
How can I help? Hello, my sweet girl. I just wanted to say I appreciate you leaning on me out there in the field, but I feel you deserve fair warning. Associating with me too much can be hazardous to your health. Hazardous? What do you mean? I mean Sabretooth. He's killed everyone I've ever been close to. Girlfriends, co-workers, casual pals. He even killed my mail carrier. You have faced many hardships, and yet you have overcome them all. I don't like to dwell on the past. Same. Nothing scares me much these days, except getting close to people. Because when I get close to someone, bad things tend to happen to them. So, I guess what I'm saying is, thanks for being a pal. And watch your back. Who's a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. Come along, Charlie. Catch any ghosts today, girl?
What is it, Charlie? Find something? You have not set anything on fire today, have you? Autumn does not answer. There is only so much hippies. The goddess must be busy. Set must not be listening today. Mother. not see it that way. There must not be anything here. Perhaps I ask too much of him. Gods are fickle. If it was here, I would show me. Thanks, Hunter. Hi. As requested. I'm here if you need me. Stay out of trouble.
I just hope this is what you were expecting, Hunter. You know, I really could do just as well without you loitering back there. How else am I going to steal your secrets if I can't see what you're up to? I doubt you'd find anything suitable of Sometimes, I even impress myself. Tony's Forge of Mystery, we never close. So, what did you have in mind? Do you think I got the suit, Doc? I assume through some sort of elaborate computer-aided precision manufacturing process. Well, that's how it is now, sure, but the very first one I hammered out with my own two hands. See ya, Hunter. Back again. Not everyone wants my advice, but they're gonna get it either way. Time's wasting, Hunter. Ready to work? Caretaker said I need to be a team player, so I guess I'm letting you choose for me too.
I know magic, right? Caretaker could have at least left me a chair. Time to take it to the next level. Charlie, getting enough pets? Do not worry, I give her as many as she wants. Good, gotta keep our canine friend happy. You like dogs, but what about cats? Eh, not crazy about them, but Ebony is different from other cats. Ebony acts more like a person. Ebony can understand what we say. I'm glad I'm not the only one who thinks that. Her eyes get all big and she purrs really loud. I bet she's got lots of opinions. Sounds like some friends of ours. She fits right in. Maybe I'll buy a scratching post for her. You could use it as well. Not with these claws. Ebony's the best cat in the Abbey. She is the only cat. Exactly. If that was practice, I can't wait to see you unleash on Lilith. Tony Stark used to be the ultra-rich jerk I saw on TV. Now, he's the ultra-rich jerk who eats all the cashews in the bowl. Ago, the nation of Transia was once the seat of power for the heroic knights of Wondergore. Might as well be Camp Hydra these days. They're pulling in reinforcements from everywhere. But reinforcing what exactly? Mount Wondergore. There's been something wrong with that place for as long as I can remember. Something like this. Nothing wrong with that. Now we know where to strike. Time for a little payback on Queen, Demon... No? Right. Make one slight mistake. Handing my mother the last page of the Darkhold? <sighs> Bringing back the Hulk. Okay, same mistake, technically. Fine. You take point, then. Roger that. Actually, how about you let us handle things? The Sanctum, Tony's Gamma Death Star, uh, Wanda... Think about it. Every time we listen to you all, some new catastrophe seems to happen. You're not our babysitter, Hunter. You're our leader, and we are the Midnight Suns. We're family. And family's family. So this time, we got your back. Then what are we waiting for?
what if we aim for his heart or something? He's not a vampire. He's a gamma-powered muscle man. Juiced up with a heavy dose of Lilith's corruption. In other words, we're screwed. Look, I know Lilith is like a dark goddess with an extra angry Hulk as her number two. Don't forget the parchment of power. She's got that too, which is like super OP. But we've got something that she doesn't. A death wish? No, dude. We've got friends. Each other. We're the Midnight Suns. You know what we Suns do? We rise. We've got this, guys. We have to believe in ourselves if we're gonna pull this off. Blade, Robbie, you know what to do, right? We'll see you soon, Nico. Better not leave me hanging, because our entire continued existence depends on us. Right. No pressure. It's just the end of the world. Not if we can help it. I'll be monitoring the troops' movements from here. You have a... she could find to guard the entrance. Between the creepy glow and the howling demonic hulk, I think we're running out of time. We must not let them stand in our way.
once again. Long before Lilith was entombed here. Too bad it was Hydra that finally stuck around. Kathan has been waiting eons for this moment. I'm not giving Hydra any more credit than I have to. Even the gods would not stand before us as arrogantly as you have. yourself. know who I am, do you? Ugh, I still don't get why these guys keep fighting. It can't be the money. A false promise of eternity catered to every corrupted mind. A spell carried on silent whispers. Now is not the time to romanticize our peril.
leave that to me. Punch it. <laughs> Hell yeah! You alone among your kind can serve as the conduit of my power, precious child. Liber Tenebris reverses Es Nobis. Only a few moments longer. Together we will reforge the dark hold and usher in. It's over, lady. Mother, no! Stop this! Lucky shot. She won't hit me again. But it is all for you. Everything I do is always for you, child. Block her out. She gave up the right to call you that word when she sold her soul to that monster. The truth shall reveal itself soon enough, sister. Even with her attention focused on that damn book, Lilith's barrier will not be easy to bring down. Yeah, but the cave shore is. Midnight suns disassemble. It's not the most elegant solution, but bringing the roof down on them will certainly put a damper on things. Should've hit a few of those columns with the hell ride. I'm gonna tell Robbie you said that. <laughs> About time.
Your time has come! Your mother abandons you. My call. There. A few more pillars, and this temple will be buried for another thousand years. Strength here, child. What has been set in motion cannot be undone. We'll not. You have the power to stop this, mother. A debt of blood is owed, and a debt of blood shall be paid. Cthon will rise. There's no convincing her. You know what you have to do.
As servants now I teach them to fear me. been far too long. Don't speak as if you know me, demon. You haven't been my sister for centuries. It saddens me to hear you say that. But there's still time for you to see things his way. No one calling themselves a Midnight Sun will ever join your corrupted ranks. I promise you that. Watch me. Now that was something. That's a neat trick. Move like that once centuries ago. They welcome their own demise. Lilith may have found the one man or monster capable of withstanding the dark energies of that book long enough to fully restore it. Banner's been nothing but trouble since this whole thing started. We both know what it is like to have a power that others desire. But I don't rip my clothes off and go berserk whenever I'm in a bad mood. More souls come for judgment. Innocent are spared. We will stoke the fires of hell with your soul.
They cannot possibly match your strength. Accept your <laughs> Now that was something. Maybe you do not realize the trouble you are in, friend. Return to your mother. It's good to be back. One more pillar should do it. Johnny Blaze!
Be alarmed in silence. Uh, yeah, tell the the mysterious structure which I has hope been Aunt May isn't watching this because she's going to flip. Has suddenly appeared in the war torn Republic. I try to stop it, but we screwed up, Robbie. It's okay, Gondor. you can say it. Doesn't matter who screwed up. What matters is that we're screwed. On every social media outlet with the hashtag Apocalypse Wow. We're in the end game now. Wanda, there's something I ought to say to you. Oh? You were... right about Lilith's tomb. Did you just say I was right about something? I did. Just as you were probably right about other things, too. Many other things. You let an old, stubborn immortal let you take the blame for so much. You were hurting. You needed something to point to. And here I was thinking I was the one who was supposed to take care of all of you. I am... sorry, Wanda. For everything. So am I. I see you and Caretaker are on the mend. Seems so. I should be happy about it. But how can I be happy about anything when the Temple of Cathan is wreaking havoc on my home? I grew up in Transia, you know. And if... The casualties Transia has suffered these last few days. We will avenge each and every one of them. I really hope we can. Well, it is not a matter of can, Wanda. We must. The world depends on it. Literally. Whatever it takes to stop your mom, right? Whatever it takes. I'm afraid of her, you know. Of seeing her. I mean, what if it happens again? What if she turns me back into bad Wanda? What if I... go dark? There is a reason my mother wanted you. Oh, yeah? I'm not so sure that's a good thing. Just embrace who you are. That's the last thing most of the people here think I should do. Maybe so. But it is the only way to gather the courage it will take to face Lilith again and survive. So, like, fight her darkness with mine? Well, I did not quite say that. Yeah, you did. And I appreciate it. Thanks. I needed that kind of resolve. Ah, well. I ought to get back to the news. See what new horrors are befalling my hometown. Do not watch too much of it. The overconsumption of news media is supposed to be bad for your mental health. Especially during an apocalypse. There are worse things for your mental health, Hunter. And I'm pretty sure I've experienced them all. I'll take my chances with a little cable news. Night. There is my ferocious Charlie girl. He's close, Hunter. Cathan is slithering his way into this dimension. I can feel it. Something on your mind? Oops, you're bad. 
I wouldn't have guessed we'd become such fast friends, Hunter, but I welcome your company. I remember when I used to go out on these missions myself. At least I can always rely on you to get the job done. Transia. I don't know how we always end up back there. Some places just have terrible luck. Is it luck? Or is it cursed? I mean, maybe there's a reason why Trent... Let me guess. You came to rub it in? Tell me the Midnight Suns are just a bunch of Hero Academy dropouts who are in over their heads? I'm not here to rub anything in. I came here to say, I thought what you did back there was brave. And bold. <laughs> yeah, right. You mean brave and stupid? You weren't being stupid. You did what you thought was right. Sometimes, we can do everything in our power to stop a bad thing from happening and still fall flat on our faces. Just keep your chin up, and remember, failure is an essential part of the superhero gig. I mean, look at me. I haven't exactly been batting a thousand these days, but that doesn't seem to have slowed down my ego any. Uh, well, wait. Are you, like, actually being nice to me? Well, nothing like impending doom to bring people together. But seriously, I admire what you tried to pull off back there. It took a lot of guts. Maybe next time, you'll get the glory. Thanks, Tony. Anytime, Nico. Yay, we did it. Ugh, the first time we're actually trusted to sit in the driver's seat, the first freaking time, and we couldn't stop her. We dropped a mountain on her head, and Lilla still managed to summon the Temple of Cathod. Way to go, team! I, for one, regret nothing we did back there, and neither should you. Too bad it was all in vain. We do not know that yet. Yet? You saw what happened. Now, ancient ugly squid god is going to arrive any moment to feast on our souls. Nico, I am not going to let that happen. Chosen one, remember? <laughs> How come you always manage to say the exact right thing to make me feel better? It is one of my secret superpowers. You mean not-so-secret superpower? Alright, I'm going to stay out here a while and lick my wounds for a little bit longer. Thanks for, uh, checking up on me. Anytime. This could have happened to any one of us. I hope Nico takes that to heart. Feel it, child. The end is upon us. You have gone too far, mother. I could say the same to you, child. Leaving me for dead and buried under that mountain. What a way to treat your mother. What would you have me do? Allow you to destroy all of creation? The Hulk was right. You are somewhat overdramatic. The truth shall reveal itself soon enough. The Darkhold is finally complete. The prophecy draws to its close. 
The Midnight Sun is coming, and with it, him. We will all have our final parts to play. Will you be ready when the curtain rises? If everything you do is truly for me, Mother, then I beg you to stop. Let us both return to our graves and let the world know peace. You almost sound like him. I thought we could not talk about him here. Don't be ridiculous. Not him. Him. Your father. He once said something similar to me several lifetimes ago. I have never heard you speak of him until now. We close upon the end of a billion years prophecy. Forgive me if I am a bit... sentimental. I sometimes wonder if I could bring his soul to this place. To have him stand once more beside me. Beside us. I implore you, do not. In his death, he has been spared the sight of the foul creature you have become. I envy him for that. What? No snappy comeback? Promises that we shall be reunited under the glorious eye of the Midnight Sun? No, child. Not this time. Agatha? I'm sorry to intrude, dear. Do you have a moment? For you? Of course. You always came to me for advice when vexed by a difficult problem. Never Sarah. That is called playing one parent against the other. Oh, I know. And I always gave advice Sarah would have given, if you hadn't both quarreled over every tiny thing. I thought so. Was she there, but invisible? Did she whisper your advice through lost sorceries of the blood? Of course not. Hunter, we spoke about you constantly. The weight of prophecy should never fall on a child. So we tried to give you room to be your own person. I had no idea. <clears throat> what did you want to discuss? I don't know how to say this without sounding melodramatic, but... Despite our actions, the prophecy unfolds. Cathan's return seems inevitable. Yet all I can do for the people I love is... haunt a library and play macabre tour guide. Agatha... I should be here with Sarah and yourself, helping to bring the team together. But I never have felt more... useless. Ugh, I'm sorry, Hunter. I'll leave you to your rest. Agatha, wait. <sighs> Good night. Agatha. Hunter, I'm coming in. Where is she? I heard you speaking with her. I am surprised you can hear, Agatha. Then you don't deny it? Why would I? Especially to you. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Why didn't you tell Caretaker? I made a promise not to tell. To who? Agatha. Then why now? Because if you can hear Agatha, the two of you need to have a long talk. <sighs> I don't know if I could face her. Then let me talk to her. <sighs> All right. I'm trusting you, Hunter. Good night.
kids for life. Hey, Doc. I was thinking. What if you or Magic opened up a portal and I could create a large-scale moving platform? We could get those poor people out of Transia in no time. I must say, the dire circumstances of our situation seem to have brought out the best in you, Tony. What's that supposed to mean? You're more collaborative and open than usual. You're actually soliciting help from the sons. I'm doing whatever it takes to get the job done. It is a crisis, after all. True, it's just that the difference between your usual arrogance and your current openness is quite, um, <clears throat> stark. You know, I think I liked you more when you were quiet and mopey all the time. I could not have predicted this outcome, but it is intriguing. Let's get start. Are there any curses I should be aware of? Welcome to Tony's Scary Demon Cave. I'm Tony, and how may I assist you today? Another magical mystery box. I used to design. Sometimes, I even impress myself. Allow us to assist you. Tony is working. Ready when you are, Hunter. Exactly an infinity stone, but it will be. The mystic arts require concentration and focus, if you don't mind. What are we building today? So, do you have much experience with smithing? Perhaps you should put your suit on for this. Where do you think I got the suit, Doc? I assume through some sort of elaborate computer-aided precision manufacturing process. Well, that's how it is now, sure, but the very first one I hammered out with my own two hands. Oh, that seems improbable. You're a wizard! <sighs> Remind me not to ask you about anything ever. Hydra won't stand a chance. Farewell. If it was here, Autumn would show me. I 
I still can't believe it. MJ, can you please drive by May's house and make sure she's okay? If she turned on the news, she's probably scared. Bye. That our plan failed. We can. I dropped 10 cubic tons of rubble on Lilith's head, and she still managed to reform the Darkhold. She has a hard head. Magic is right. Best to look forward. Think you can do that, Robbie? I guess I'm gonna have to. We will find another way to stop her. I promise. Remember that time we fought together in Madripoor? Was that the time we fought the 20-foot tall robot? You're gonna have to be more specific. I fought a lot of 20-foot tall robots. Not sure I can. Seen too much strange action. It all bleeds together after a while. Makes you wonder how much road we have left to travel. Can't tell if I want it to be a long road or a short one these days. Hello, my sweet girl. Time to take it to the next level. Let's see him try to handle me now. Not everyone wants my advice, but they're gonna get it either way. An enhanced spell. Most welcome. Haha, <laughs> nothing's gonna stop me now. No pain, no gain. I guess I can show you a couple. <laughs> like play with fire. Ready for more? We need any advantage we can get. If you can beat Carol in a straight fight, I'll let you skip training. Good luck with that.
What is it, Charlie? Find something? Set must not be listening today. If his help was warned, this would provide. Autumn must not see it that way. He does not seem interested in breaking that. If it were meant to be broken, Set would gladly assist. Set is a temperamental guy. He hears me, but has no answers. The gods are fickle. Set has decided not to. If it were meant to be broken, Set would gladly assist. Autumn does not answer. Hippus does not seem to agree. has decided not to. Perhaps I ask too much of him. Autumn thinks otherwise. Set must not be listening. Must not be her purview. Set is a temperamental god.
Hey. Hunter, putting me through my paces. Konnichiwa, friendo. Bunazua. This is the first time I've been here since... Well, since I had to leave the Abbey. And? For obvious reasons, Agatha is on my mind. I can't imagine how much pressure it would be to carry that kind of secret. Of course, I'd like to know more. But I trust you're doing the best you can. I have nothing to add. But soon, I promise. That's all I ask. I don't know what I expected to find here. Books, usually. Thank you for that. I meant, Agatha and I spent so much time here, I expected to feel... I don't know, anything at all? Instead, I'm just... numb. I'm starting to feel guilty that I don't feel guilty. If you want to talk about it, I will listen. Thank you, but I don't want to distract from what I'm sure will be a busy day for you. It is no trouble. I know. But also, I need to figure it out for myself before I can talk about it. If the offer's still open later, I'll take you up on it. I understand. Well, I should get back to my studies. Agatha, a moment? Yes, Hunter. And why are we whispering? Meet me in my room. We need to talk. All right. What is this about? Wanda knows you are in the Abbey. Last night, she overheard us speaking. She did? She confronted me and demanded to know where you were. What did you tell her? I could not lie to her. Not about this. I'm glad you didn't. If Wanda overheard me, the rules have changed. Should we tell her? Yes, this evening. I'll seek you out after the mission. Here I go, stirring up trouble. Feels like old times. I apologize for not having the bandwidth to speak last night. It's just... I'm still in a bit of shock. My mind has been spinning trying to process it all. Take all the time you need. That's just the thing, Hunter. We don't have time. There's no excuse. I must pull myself together. At any moment, my sister will unleash Cathan upon the planet. Yet Wanda is back in the library reading as if we were back to normal before... Agatha passed. Half of me wishes she was here so I could ask her for guidance. For a way out of this mess. And the other half? Is glad she's not alive to endure the horrors of what a Cathan reign would bring. Still, I wonder what she would say if she was here. Well, I know she would not want you to throw in the towel before the fight is finished. No, she wouldn't. She would want us to give it every ounce of strength we have left. Then let us do just that. Let us kick Lilith's ass back to hell. Show her who is the better sister. I've been wanting to do that since third grade. 
The blood had third grade? I meant that figuratively. Ah, I need to get my head together. Now that the Temple of Cathan is revealed, our options are dwindling. Tony and Doctor Strange may think they're the epicenter of our operations, but we all know this is where the real magic happens. Stay out of trouble. Show them what happens when you mess with the Midnight Suns. Let's go. Interesting technique.
go again. That will do. Good at that. You're not going to lie.
one's for you! Get hurt if you're not careful. Awesome. being so inconsequential. Your future lies in the abyss. Oblivion opens her arms. So that's what you got this far.
know what my future holds. Ready? have gets the job done. the least I that was refreshing
spend some time. Sacrifice yourself for, for Lilith. You are more foolish than you look. Embrace your end. I survived the worst. The others are down. Making me angry. It is up to me to help them now. It seems they have brought more friends. You've got my back.
You're in trouble now. I do the same for you.
Your actions have You left me no choice. Next time, don't mess with a witch. I doubt they'll take that beating to heart, but we can always hope. Hunter, hello. Hunter, Wanda is at my shrine, calling out for me. I think she deserves an answer, don't you? Then we should speak with her. I'll meet you at my shrine. Get your train game on? If not, we can talk a minute. Everyone tells me I've got the gift of gab. How's your mental health? A good portion of this darkness hunting game is mental health and processing intense situations. I hear people saying steel sharpens steel, but in my case, encountering dark magic only makes me stronger. In other words, this is just a Tuesday for me. That's an impressive mindset. It's also why I trust you, Hunter. You don't play pretend. Even when the constant battling feels like a grind, you don't show it. Whatever we got to be, to do what we got to do. Well. It's all sorts of messed up. But hell on earth isn't a garden stroll. Crazy as it sounds, Lilith will not succeed. You've been spending too much time with Rogers. We may win, we may lose. Either way, I'm taking as many Hellspawn with me as I can. We're made for more than driving the legions of Hell from the face of the Earth. And I know just who I am without that. Well, Blade, I cannot wait to survive so we can continue our talks. Ain't that the truth? Is there any way we can move the civilians out of the area quicker? We're doing our best. We nearly lost a couple troop carriers flying personnel in over the mountains. And Liberia's closed its borders. That's not helping. Come on, Fury. Transia's population is, what, 20,000? S.H.I.E.L.D. should be able to handle that in a day. 
Twenty thousand? Try a couple hundred million. This isn't about just one country anymore. We've got to evacuate all of Eastern Europe. I could take a Quinjet and be there in a few hours, Fury. Just give the word. The word is, stay out of it, Cap. Focus on the big picture from there. We've got it handled here. Not well from the sounds of it. Listen, if you think you can... Fury. Fury! Damn. Good girl, Charlie. Hunter, you promised me the truth about Agatha. I should let her tell it. Agatha is here? Right now? I'm right here, Wanda. Can you not see me? Agatha? Where are you? Just my voice, then. Better than nothing. Agatha, I... There's so much I have to say to you. Wanda, please. You are my pupil. I shall not have you bear the burden of my death. I lost control. No, I did. I pushed you too far, too fast. Yes, but I have to... My dear, this isn't the first time you visited my grave. I heard all you confessed. There is no need to repeat it. And there is very little time. Cathan grows restless in his slumber. I can aid you in this fight, but I'll need your help. Both of you. My connection to this world is tenuous. There is a ritual that can bind me to this place. First, I'll need you to retrieve a... memento. I am unfamiliar with any ritual you describe. It was in one of the books I wouldn't allow you to read. I read many of those books. Yes, you were a... precocious child. Those books were decoys. I knew it! I'm sure you did. What exactly do you want us to bring you? Sarah's grief is my strongest tie to the world. This memento symbolizes our tie to one another. What is it? I don't know, but it's somewhere in her room. The closer I get, the more painful it is. A ghost can feel pain? I'm not thrilled about it. How should we go about this? Hunter, you know Sarah better than most. I'm relying on you to search her room and find this memento. Whatever it is. And what should I do? Observation and distraction. So, I'm the lookout while the hunter pokes around caretaker's room? I do it myself, but... Oh, it's no problem. One of my favorite shows involves a weekly heist. Now, both of you promise me, Sarah cannot know about the ritual. Not until it's done. Why not? The more she knows, the less chance we have to pull it off. Hmm. I have kept your secret this long. And I can keep it as well. Good. I believe in you both. You can count on us. Wanda. She already left. Oh. Well, time to sneak into Caretaker's room and steal one of her heirlooms. Let's go before I talk myself out of it. You just spoke with Agatha after months of thinking she was gone forever. We can take a moment, if you need to. It's a lot to process. But hearing her voice again? Oh. I'm her apprentice with an important task to fulfill. I'll be damned if I screw it up this time. Then we should go. Right behind you. Hunter, I'm outside the door. As soon as you find it, 
I'll give you the all clear. Wanda? Uh, hi, Nico. What are you doing outside Caretaker's room? Nothing. And I'm not outside her room. You're leaning against the door. Oh, I guess I am. But I'm waiting on the hunter. Oh, for what? I'm going to confess my feelings. What? It's true. I have strong feelings for the hunter. Did I just stumble into the hottest Abbey gossip since Blade and Captain Marvel? They're together. It's complicated, but never mind that. You and the hunter, though? I'm a little jealous, but good luck, girl. Oh, I didn't mean to. Nah, I'm totally out of hunter's lane. But you? I can totally see it. You can? And no matter how it goes, find me after. I've got a pint of ice cream with your name on it. Will do. Uh, Nico, do you mind if I wait alone? Oh, right, right. Good luck. All right, she's gone. Hurry up. This is harder than it looks on television. How's it going in there? Found it. All right. Wanda? Is... Caretaker. Hi. How are you, uh, doing? I'm tired. It's been a long day. Oh, I know the feeling. We should, um, take a walk around the Abbey. Well, why would we do that? It's good to, you know... Get the blood flowing after a long day. So how about we... Wanda, it's late. I'm going to bed. I want to talk to you about Agatha. You do? I... Can we take that walk? It's about something she said to me about you. Wanda, this topic is out of bounds. I'm not asking to be forgiven. I know I'll never make it right. But I have a wonderful memory of Agatha speaking fondly of you. It's not fair to keep it from you, so can we take that walk, please? <sighs> All right. A short walk. A short walk. You'll be back in uh, a few minutes, at most. <clears throat> Let's go. I'd like to get this over with. That's <clears throat> perfectly clear. Are you all right? Just a small cough. <clears throat> Why don't we head through the yard? Hunter. Ileana. What were you doing in Caretaker's room? Agatha is a ghost. She asked Wanda and I to recover a locket. We need it for a ritual to restore Agatha. Then she can help us all fight Lilith. That is absolutely... Amazing. Tell no one. Let me join the ritual. Okay. I will. Then I saw nothing. Are you out? Uh -huh. Good. You know where to meet me. How's it going? I never want to do that again. Confess your feelings prematurely? I know. It was not ideal, but the heart wants what it wants. You know I can turn you into a frog, right? So you can restore me with a kiss? Ha <laughs> moving on. So what next? I'll take the... what was it? 
a locket. Hmm. I assume Agatha will tell us how it fits into the ritual. And that I shall. Agatha, we have caretakers, Memento. I know. I can feel it. Would you be a most faithful apprentice and place a ward upon it? Of course. That's better. Now, do you recall the binding ritual in the Libris Illicitus? The Grey Seneschal? But that's... Forbidden, yes. I was going to say extremely dangerous. And I would never suggest it unless the circumstances were this dire. What is this ritual exactly? The Grey Seneschal requires an item that binds a spirit to a person or place. Why is it so dangerous? Because the first step of the ritual is to destroy that item. And for a short time, the spirit is... extremely vulnerable to dissolution, to possession, to destruction. I am not entirely comfortable with this. But if you are taking the risk, I will support you. I am so proud to know the person you've become, Hunter. Trust me when I say the risk is worth it. Should the ritual work as expected, everyone in the Abbey will be able to hear me, to see me. I'll be able to help when it's most needed. We do this when the moon is right. But it all falls apart. Sarah learns what we're planning. Why? This ritual is one of hers. She made it centuries ago. She knows how great the risks, and how slim the odds. And there's no chance in hell she'll allow Wanda to lead the ritual. Yet for us to succeed, Wanda it must be. No. I can't do this. Wanda. This ritual's power lies in its inherent contradictions. And what greater contradiction can there be... ...than for me to restore your spirit to life? But Agatha... ...if I lose control... You won't. How do you know? Because you're my best apprentice. Because you learn from your mistakes. And because I want you to know I truly forgive you. For that to happen, you'll need to see it in my eyes. Now to prepare. Wanda, I'll be in your room. We'll go over every step of the ritual. I'll meet you there. She already... I know. Hunter, do you believe I can do this? Wanda, do you believe you can do this? I don't know. Then do the best you can. <sighs> okay. When the moon is right. When the moon is right. No pressure. Always on the hunt, right? We're witnessing the biggest humanitarian crisis unfolding in Europe since World War II, and no one seems to have a handle on it. Fury wants me here to handle the big picture, but it's looking more like a nightmare by the minute. I need to be in transia to help. With no signal, I'm not doing any good standing here.
Before you run off, we need that connection fixed. We have to know what is happening in Transia right now. My fighting skills are better than my IT skills, but I'll pitch in where I can. You will be more successful than me. The first time I saw Central, I thought it was witchcraft. I know I should rest, but that's not happening until I know Fury's safe. Carol and I may be pulling an all-nighter. Do not neglect your sleep, Cap. I can either have bad dreams when I sleep or a waking nightmare right here. At least here I can keep my mind occupied. Fine, speak. Come along, Charlie. I'm almost getting used to seeing you on your feet again. Almost. Wait here, girl. There is my ferocious Charlie girl. You are going to love this. So, how's the whole saving the... I feel like I could automate this process and take my... Another project? Craftsmanship must be improving, Tony. This should prove useful. You find more coil, send it my way. Finally restored satellite connection to Transia. Get it up on the screen, now. Hydra's fist grows tighter around Transia, and now Lilith's twisted children roam free. A glimpse into all our futures if we fail to stop her. Those people need to evacuate. Are those Hydra soldiers blocking the bridge? Not just soldiers. That's... Hey, Captain Wonderboy! Can you hear me? 
crossbones. I know you're hiding out in your little fun house. So listen up. No one's getting out of this country except in a body bag. Or unless you're brave enough to swap places with them. So what do you say? You're man enough to face me? <laughs> Anytime, Rumlow. Not much, but I have managed to locate a few details. See you soon. Midnight Suns. Time to shake off the past and train to kick some ass. And we can't rewind the clock and change it. Because Doctor Strange lost all his time travel totems in New York. Oh, so are we just gonna train the pain away? It works in every single boxing movie I have ever seen. Are we so desperate that cinema is our inspiration? We are ants to Cathon. We must fight together or we will fail. Focus! I agree with Blade and the Scarlet Witch. This is why we get our asses kicked out there. We're not Avengers. We're lucky to be alive. It wasn't my intention to insult the idea, Blade. Yes, training together helps us learn how to cover each other's blind spots. Imagine if Blaze decided to stick with us the whole time. We'd be unstoppable. Exactly, Robbie. It makes us stronger. I really don't want to say we are the Midnight Suns or anything like that. It's too cheesy for me. So just consider that general vibe expressed. Take all that big listening to each other energy and pretend we have to launch Spider-Man across a hellscape of demons and brimstone like he's a football. Yes, that's the spirit, everyone. Wait, why are we practicing that particular scenario again? Don't you just want to hop in and show them how it's done? Only if I can pick the training montage music. You seem like a 90s teen pop kind of guy. Maybe something with lots of cowbell. Ugh, disco? Just because you have adamantium claws doesn't mean you get to knock disco. Time to take it to the next level.
If you can beat Carol in a straight fight, back again. The Chaos Magic's power grows. A welcome enhancement. Caretaker said I need to be a team player, so I guess I'm letting you choose for me too. Constant innovation, that's the stark promise. Hydra won't want to tussle with me now. Even a sorcerer's... Ready to work? Sometimes you just need to spice things up. Try something different. Effective. Mark my words. Yeah, I guess it is a tough decision. I feel stronger already. to see how this goes down. You ever wonder if those birds out there are stuck here? 
trapped in the Abbey's bubble. It's creepy if you think about it. Enhancement. Let us see it in action. Don't worry about me. I'll meditate until you're ready. Upgrading that. All right, not too shabby. Maybe you should just hit me up on Superlink when you're ready. Let's do this. Do your thing. I can't just stand here and let Rumlow get away with this. Rumlow's taunting me, trying to get me to engage. He wants you to fight him. Going to Transia would play right into his hands. Yet I can't stay here and do nothing. Those people need us. We are going to Transia sooner or later. And no matter what Crossbones has planned, we are gonna hit him so hard, he will not know where he is anymore. That's the spirit. We just have to be careful. If there are two possible angles on a fight, Rumlow staked out the third. So then, what is your plan? My plan is to stop Rumlow no matter what. If he's gonna fight anyone, he's gonna fight me. After that, I'll make it up as I go along. Rumlow's not going to get away from me again. Not this time. Our transient situation's getting worse. Hydra's blocking our transport. Keeps taunting. Do not engage, Steve.
Hydra's mystics are trying to open one of those rifts. It probably goes without saying, but we can't have them summoning abominations from the other side. Closely. mystic out of the ritual almost there Engage 
engaging <laughs> Still time for you to flee in terror. Judge me someday. Done it. 